All right. I know you got it. 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 Come on. One more, one more. I know you got it. I know you got it. I know you got it. You know a top boat chest? You know want a bigger chest? Look at this right here. Woo. This chest is pumped. Yes, Scott. That chest pump yes, is real. Yo, it's a medium Jamaican trainer. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, with me, I got my duo, the action figure himself, Mr. Scott. Burn out, talk to the people, let them know. Boy, Scott Burn, I'm here with the young bull, Damar J. Smith. Young Jamaican trainer, here to educate you all. We're doing crazy reps and sets and we're working out. But what about the education? What about teaching someone how to do something? Show you top five best push-ups to grow your chest. We're going to be educating you all from my knowledge to young trainer's knowledge and showing you all some amazing push-up workouts that you can do to grow your chest and look good with calisthenics, man. A lot of comments asking, young trainer, what can I do? What is the best thing to do to build a bigger chest? Or what push-ups is going to be more effective? Listen. You're gonna find out today. So Scott, without further ado, let them know what we're starting with. All right, you know what? It's called age, what is it? Age versus beauty or something like that. Something so you like start that. like that, you know, start. But why the incline push-up is an amazing push-up, right? So as you can see here, this is really good. It's really beginner friendly as well too. And just because you're going in an incline, you can also have more range of motion. You see how his arms are coming out and he's also keeping his elbows in. So. The incline push-up is really great for you to build your chest, especially your, your top chest as well too. Major. So yes, keep on going. Let's go. Give me 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Great job. And of course, when you're doing any exercise and when you're working out, you have to make sure that there is stimulus. You're in a good six reps to 12 reps and then more that you go into the rep range then you're going to more endurance but we want to learn how to grow our chest right so we're going to slow down the movement and i'm going to show you how you do it so control the momentum here one two three now notice guys four look how controlled scott is scott is controlled right the movement is under control he's not rushing He's not forcing it. Everything is under control, right? And this is important while doing exercise. You gotta make sure that you're under control doing any exercise that you're doing. So watch. Good, Scott. All the way up, all the way down. It's all about mind to, mind to muscle connection. Going up and down into the eccentric to the concentric motion, I'm also squeezing my chest to make sure I'm getting as much blood into my chest area as well too. So the more you squeeze and the more stimulus you have is the more growth you're gonna develop. So do your incline push-ups. Stop the video also while watching this and actually do them. I want you to watch this whole video without trying. If you can grab something, put your feet on or grab something and put your arms on and do it, please go ahead and do it, try it. No need no gym, no gym, no problem. And speaking about grabbing something, let me show you another push-up right here. We went from the incline push-up one of my favorites. Now it's time for the decline push-ups. Okay, now. now this is a more advanced version, right? Cause you're gonna have your feet on top of a platform right here on a bench. So can you, may you demonstrate young man? Yes, sir. Great job. Yes. So the decline push-up, very advanced movement. As you can see is more range of motion as well too. And also gravity is playing a, a part as well too because he has his feet on top of a bench. That's how straight my posture is. Look right? at his posture. I don't have my butt in the air. I'm not sinking. My posture is straight. Let's go. Quality over quantity. A lot of people are doing push-ups but they're not doing quality push-ups and wonder why the gains are not coming in and wonder why they are not seeing results quality of a quantity. We demonstrate the decline push-ups as well too. I have my fingers out like so, so I get a better grasp on the land. Squeeze my core in, tuck my glutes in, right? And come down. One, two. Working that pec major. Top part of the chest. And all of this is building a bigger chest, right? All of this is building a bigger chest. We got incline and we got decline. Two major important push-ups. Routine that build a bigger chest. You can't have a, a slack, uh, a slacker uh, posture. You can't be sinking, right? Everything has to be clean. That's the only way the reps are gonna work. 
Make sure you engage your core throughout all the movements. The core is not engaged, there's gonna be a leakage of energy. So the more you engage your core, make sure you protect your lower back as well too. You can focus on your chest, right? And this is why we love calisthenics because we can focus on many different muscle groups at one time, compound exercises. Your core is getting involved. A little bit of your back is getting involved. Your chest is getting involved. Your anterior delts, which is your shoulders getting involved. Calisthenics over anything, you lifting your whole <laughs> body weight. Got some resistant bands. I know about these. <laughs> resistant band. What you can do, you can do some resistant band push-ups. These are one of my favorites as well too, because for body weight, I can do about 40, 50 push-ups. Right. But when I put, throw on the resistance band, oh, hands on the floor, right? People love to do this fast, fast thing. No, slow it down. Control the momentum. Don't let the momentum control you. Count one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now we're just gonna hold it right here. Right there. Five, four, three, two, one. Come up slowly. Listen. These are the key <laughs> to building a bigger chest. Yes. You guys again an important video full with tips, full with information to help you get a bigger chest. Whatever you're lacking, it's in this video. Mm. If you want to do better push-ups, this is also for better push-ups. You're looking at form and you're looking at how to do them, right? Come see me and Scott doing some crazy routine right now, killing ourselves. Right now it's information time. Yes. We are teaching you guys. Listen, knowledge is power when knowledge is being applied. Show you all types of reps and sets, but how about teaching you how to do the reps and sets, right? Start to elevate, start to grow, progressive overload. X, one of my favorite push-ups, right? Yes. In order to even grow or develop muscle in general, there has to be stimulus, right? right? So that means the easy exercises, we can't be doing that. We got to make it a little bit more harder, so, yeah. right? So we're going to do a regular push-up, but of course, you're going to be on my back and then I'm going to be on your back. Do this with your partners or what have you. And this is really going to blow up your chest. Hup. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, good, good, good. Ten. Instead of me doing 50 regular body weight push ups, I did 10 weighted push ups with Young Train on my back. Bro, that's how you're gonna develop that strength training and that hypertrophy to allow more blood to go into the muscle. Exactly. All right, so you next. Sure. I'm not gonna put my whole body on him. I'm just gonna put my hands, just to add a little more pressure. The body weight? Yeah, the body weight. All right. I don't know if I can do it. All right. Ready? Oh, go. Oh, okay. <laughs> can do it, and I feel like I can, even if I give you guys one. All right, let's go. Time for me. Like button if you're being educated right now. All right. I know you got it. 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 Come on. One more, one more. I know you got it. I know you got it. Hey! That's it. Two. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Yes. Don't doubt him. Let me try putting my head to something and not accomplishing it. God is a big dude right here. Muscle, <laughs> young trainer. Look at you. I will still get it done. Two is fine with me. I'm fine with two. Two is good. But I know now, next time, I have to work. Let me get three. Let me get four. It's all about pushing yourself to the next limit, guys. Peace is the most important thing. Talk to him. This tells your body you can do anything. As long as you put it in your mind saying, I can accomplish this, I'm gonna do this, it will get done. It's gonna happen, Talk but it all starts here. Your mental piece gotta be up to par. You have to get your head right. As I said, I failed, I'm back at it again. I know I can do it. Two, guys, push yourself, always push. You gotta be the first person to believe in yourself, and then you'll get the support from everybody else, but it starts with you. At our last push-up. Yes, sir. Now, this, you're gonna need some equipment. See, family, we got the gymnastic rings right here. So. You're doing about 40, 50 push-ups, 30, even 20. That's great. You're going more into the endurance, but we're talking about building the chest, like 
you know, building the chest. So of course we need stimulus. This is the next level. This is where you want to go to. And you know why? Because when it comes to rings, the instability is going to allow the secondary muscles to also work as well too. So young trainer, can you just uh, demonstrate a ring push up? Ready. Look at the instability. Look Come on. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Come on. One. Two, try to bring it in. You, you're gonna close it in. Oh, there it goes. That's it right there. That's it right there. Come on. Your core is getting involved. The chest is getting involved. Come on. Your balance is getting involved as well, Yo, too. Let me tell you something. This is working everything, even your core. As you guys can see, when I squeeze in, I'm feeling it in my core as well. Scott, show them. Yes. So you wanna come here, you wanna Watch make it sure. Done by a pro. You want to make sure that your elbows are not flared out like so. You want to keep it in because you want to protect your joints. The more you protect your joints, the more longevity that you have to train. That's to engage, right? And I'm going to... Nice. <sighs> nice. I'm Look going to that. abduct from my body. That Thank means to move on. away. Now watch, watch how my chest activates. <sighs> Look Clean at that range form. of motion. Clean form. Look at it. Look at it. Now if Look you want to get advanced... Look at it. You want to get advanced, just turn it out. Wow. Show off that. Show the, off that. You see that the the muscle fibers in the chest are being stimulated. Stay right there. Come take a look. Look at it. Uno a top board chest. Uno a bigger chest. Look at this right here. Woo. This chest is pumped. Pumped solid. Good, Scott. Good. Good. Give me I'm not more. rushing it. Give me three more. Two right here. Two right here. <sighs> One more now, Scott. One more, that's it, that's it. Good, good, good work, Scott. Good work, Scott. There you go. Woo! Yeah, Scott. That chest pump yeah, is real. Dab me up. That, yeah. Listen, you do it. It's all about learning. That's it. And sometimes you gotta unlearn to learn new things. And sometimes you gotta be willing to learn. Yes. You know, there's a lot of Talk to fitness him. people out there I see that are strong, right? And you know, they got, they, they solid. Right, but some people can't do a simple pull up. Some people can't do a simple push up. Some people can't do a simple dip. Right. Or, you know what I'm talking about? So listen, it's all about learning and being willing to learn. Yes. You understand? I'm, listen, people who do the weights, it's cool to touch the weights. That's what you're comfortable with. Always remember that calisthenics it is the truth. The young trainer is trying to say is that get out the comfort zone. Okay. Nothing grows in the comfort zone. If you're doing weights, that's fine. Start to tap into a different discipline. If you're doing calisthenics, that's fine. Start to tap into different ways for you to increase the stimulus of your workouts. Like I said before, if you're doing 50 push-ups, that's amazing, that's fine. Now let's switch it up. Let's do some rings. Let's do some weighted push-ups. Let's do some um, resistant band push-ups. Increase the, 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 the difficulty. Progressive overload. That's what we like to call it in the fitness industry. Progressive overload. And you want to progressively overload in your fitness and progressively overload in your life as well too. Right. Yes. Listen, <laughs> five different key push-ups on how to build a bigger chest. Listen, that video is done. That video will be released to you guys. No weakness, shock at the ocean. Believe it, achieve the comment. Listen, on a favorite do on YouTube, we are here. Scott and me, listen, we're back. We're back. And we always do something. <laughs> it's your boy Scott Bernhardt. Rate, comment, like, share, subscribe. Shouts to my young boy, Devon J. Smith. You know, continue to support this young man journey. And also, if you're looking for professional online training with, of course, that me being the, your hold trainer. Hold on, hold on. You can't say it like that. <laughs> if you're looking for professional online training about it, there's no but, maybe, if so, no. Yes, happen. Now, 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 now is the time to sign up right here with Scott. You're going to get one-on-one -on -one training. You're going to get the best. Enfa, this is the person to hit right now. www.scottbrown.com. That is my website. And we will see you in the next video. And let me know if you like these educational videos as well to teach you all different exercises and how to do them and just how to, you know, just get better in your fitness journey, all right? We're out. Ooh, that thing healthy. Paper bag with the greens. I'm going to ring it up like house keys.